flannel. You know, the lucky flannel guys, you know, you know. And now I'm just in a FNAF mood. So let's go ahead and watch a scary FNAF VHS video. And the person making all these amazing videos is Vox. Go check them out. Link down below in the description. Okay, so this first one's called Red Eyes. So it looks like we're just playing the FNAF 1 game. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, this is creepy. It feels like it's like it, it feels like the VR version that I never finished because I, I I turned into a baby after playing this first one. Oh my gosh. No. Arf, 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 arf. Oh gosh, his eyes are turning red. Ah! Ah! Oh, this is so much more terrifying. This is so much more terrifying. Ah! 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 Gosh. My headphones are all the way up, guys. I promise. I, I was going to say I promise I'm not this jumpy, but I am this jumpy. Oh my gosh. That was good. That was actually really good. Error. You're dead. You're dead after that. You're not coming back. You're not coming back from that. So this one's called Break In. So it looks like we're, we're somebody like, <laughs> let's go to the Fraz Bear's Pizzeria. Let's go ahead and break in there. Oh, man. This is actually really cool. I believe they made this before the FNAF movie came out, too. So that's even cooler. Like, it's kind of like watching the FNAF movie again. All over again, you know, guys? Except, I guess a little bit more scary, maybe? Let me know what you guys think. Ooh, but this is really cool. This is honestly really cool. Awesome. We're just walking into the front door. What's that? Is that a bag? Is that, oh, that's a bag. They really said I got my bag ready. I'm about to break in here and take all the valuables. Is that what you're doing? Why are you here? Are you here to destroy or to steal? Either way, they have some bad intentions. Unless they're just trying to make a YouTube video and be like, Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here in the creepy pizzeria at 3 a.m. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> I can totally see this being one of those videos, not gonna lie, guys. Um, hello? Oh, they're all here. The gang's all here, guys. We got Chica, the Cupcake, Freddy, and Bonnie. I bet Bonnie would be the first one to bop, 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 you know? Get you with the bop, bop, bop. Oh, gosh. Is that staff only? Let's go to staff only. Oh, it's locked. Oh, gosh. Are they going to be there when you turn around? Oh, they're still there. Okay, good. That's good. Good job. Stay there. Stay there. Oh. Oh, I'm concerned. Oh, I'm concerned. Nothing has happened in a long time. In a long time, guys. Nothing happened. I'm kind of scared. Not going to lie. Ugh. Are we good? Oh, you're doing too many subtle turns. I don't want the turns. I don't want the turns. Oh, this is Pirate Cove. It's, it's, it's Foxy. There's a gate there. Imagine if there was always a gate in front of Foxy's or uh, Pirate Cove. So Foxy, every time he had to go through, he'll trip over the gate. That would be funny. Why are you doing this? Why? Oh my gosh. Get him, Foxy. Get him. Be like, how dare you open up my house? Get him. Okay, good. Because I didn't want that jump scare, actually. Oh, these turns. You see, there's a gate. So it would be funny if, if every time Foxy went running, he had to jump over that gate or he'll fall and trip. That would have made it into a comedy. That would have made Five Nights at Freddy's into a comedy, not gonna lie. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm just waiting for the scare, guys. I am literally on edge waiting for the scariness to happen. Do you guys understand what I mean? Do you guys ever go through that too? That you, there's going to be a scare. And you're just on edge. Like, who's going to attack? Who's going to attack? Leave your comment down below first. Who's going to be the first to attack? It's usually Bonnie. That's what I'm saying is Bonnie. Bonnie's usually the first one. Catch these hands, you know? Or to cast the hands. Not catch them. Oh, gosh. That's the infamous room. Oh, that is so cool. I like how they're low-key just mapping out the entire area. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like um, a re... Like, revisiting the other episode we just finished. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. These little head...
head turns are literally driving me crazy, guys. Because I don't know when they're going to turn. And... <sighs> oh my gosh. I got to turn my headphones down. <laughs> you see? I told you, Bonnie's always the first one. Act a little frisky. Oh, wait. Is anyone else there? Oh gosh, it is Bonnie. I told you, it was Bonnie. Oh my gosh. Did you make it? Is that Bonnie making those noises? Oh my gosh. The other door's locked. Okay, so Bonnie just head out. I'm a, I'm a freak this, I'm out type stuff. Or is he just hiding? He's just like, I will make them believe that I'm gone, but I'm still here. No, we good. We still good. We still in this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you found William Afton's body. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you found his body. Oh gosh. That's cool. I like that they added that in there. Like that in the back room that they that the that the animatronics don't know about the back room that they don't know about. They added <laughs> Gosh! Oh, I got to turn my headphones down. There's no way that my headphone is at 100% right now, guys. <sighs> or should I just keep it up? It'll be more entertaining for you guys if I just keep it all the way up to 100 like I am now. Gonna harm my ears, but I know you guys will like it. Okay, so this one's called Night One. So let's see what happens in Night One. Let's see what we got kind of here. Okay, yeah. Okay, this time we got voices. Got some lockers. Nice. Yeah, first day on the job. <laughs> this place is better than the last place. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, what's this? Goodness gracious. I can just imagine this actually in real life. Like, I would have been so confused. It would be nice to have left a note, but sure. Oh, okay, there's, there's, there's subtitles. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, good. We won't touch the doors for the rest of the night, is what he says. Oh, look at that. That's much better. That's much better, but your, your power. Perfect! I'm so concerned. Man, you don't even have any of the monitors on? Dang. Oh. 685? You don't see your power going down? Putting all the lights on? Turn them off! Oh my gosh. Are you not concerned? He's not concerned at all. He said that does not concern me. Oh. He's gonna take a nap? You know, like, low-key spoilers to Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie, but, like, if this guy doesn't survive low-key, I feel like this was more canon. <laughs> if this guy were to fall asleep in Five Nights at Freddy's pizza, you know, let's go ahead and see if he survives, guys. Okay. Because he's really gonna go to sleep. It is, it looks like it's 12. It's literally midnight, like 1230. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding, they're gone. I don't know what's going on. Dang. Did you take a snap? I'm probably just gonna go to I'm gonna have to look in person. What? So I'm not liable for whatever happens to these things. Yeah, you're not liable, but someone should be with what's gonna happen to you. Well maybe nothing's gonna happen. Maybe I'm just psyching it up for no reason. Maybe nothing's gonna happen and everything will be fine. Oh gosh. It's gonna be one of the creepiest jobs ever. I mean, if you think about it. Oh, wait, why did he just look through the cameras? Look. Wouldn't he be able to find them on the. Oh! There's only one. Oh my gosh, there's only one. I don't know where the others are going. He's gonna be behind you. He's gonna be behind you. I already know. I already know. This isn't funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh. Oh. Where is he going? Is he going towards the kitchen? He's going to Chica? So oh! It's Chica! Okay. You should be more scared of that cupcake, not gonna lie. Are you seeing this? 
Oh my gosh, the sound? Oh, the sound! Oh gosh, that is so creepy! That is so creepy! Oh, I do not like that. This is not funny. Oh, that sound! Oh! Door's closed. Door's closed. Okay. But you probably ran out of power. Look at that. 1%. No 3%. Idea. 2. What's going on here? Because you want to leave the lights on. Oh. But like. Oh, gosh. It's just seeing somebody go into disaster. What was that? Oh, gosh. Literally, Bonnie and Chica both left so that Freddy can come in. This is not happening. You gonna play your little music? Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, everything comes back around circle, guys. It comes in a big circle. Can, are you gonna run away? Oh, oh, oh yeah, he's running. He's booking it. He's booking it, guys. He's booking it. Let's go. Oh my gosh! I, I love that he actually ran when. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh. This is actually surprisingly realistic. Very realistic of something that people actually would do, you know? What are you recording on? Are you recording on your phone or a camcorder? Oh! Oh my gosh, Bonnie! We best get you ready for showtime. That is so cool! dying in the background and it's like slowly creepily going leaving uh, it's so sad <laughs> but it's so realistic like if you think about it if you were actually in this position you would have been like before five nights of freddy's came out you wouldn't be creeped out by no animatronics thinking that they're gonna be alive and trying to kill you you wouldn't be thinking that you would just be thinking okay i'm just gonna chill out and wait um and then they started attacking and the fact that he actually ran when uh, Freddie was actually doing his little song and Bonnie's voice oh my gosh this is a really good series right here okay so the next one's called police investigation oh what we're requesting backup is that Freddie I saw Freddie on the thumbnail it's an abandoned Freddie Fazbear's pizza closed oh. down in the 80s that could be a break in I'll be with you soon Oh, there was a video we watched that had a break in, guys. Interesting. Oh, man. I feel bad for this poor police officer going in alone. But at least they're armed. But I don't think bullets can do anything to these Please. animatronics. Police! Hello? Is anyone in here? The animatronics are in here. Oh, this man. is the police! This is the police! Get down! We have reports that they were screaming. Are you injured? They were screaming. Man. They're all gone. They're all gone. That's crazy. This is why Chuck E. Cheese probably destroyed their animatronics. Loki probably thought that if they just shut down the building and left them in, they would just turn into another FNAF. That did not say arcade. It says something else. Jesus. Oh gosh! Hey Bonnie! Are you gonna act chill? What you what what's up? What's up, buddy? Dang. Bonnie about to take that. Personally, <laughs> not Bonnie just standing there like nothing happened. Like, don't look at me. Everything is fine. Oh gosh, you get too close. He's about to get you. He's about to get you. Oh gosh. Hey. Oh, he pulled it out. Come out with your hands up. 
Come on with your hands up. You should be worried about Bonnie, honestly. Look behind you. I have a situation over at Freddy's Pizza Place. Someone's moved the animatronics and one of them was hidden behind a wall. <laughs> it's covered in one of the leaves' blood. Suspect is still in the building. Oh, gosh. Hello, does anyone read me? Does anybody read me? There. Come out with your hands off. You are under arrest. Oh, gosh, that is not going to do anything. Oh. It looks like the animatronics is just trying to have a little fun fun real quick. They're having a little fun moment. Oh my gosh, what was that? Is me? Is that binary code? Did someone decipher the binary code? Or did it just say, it's me, it's me, it's me? What the hell? Who's there? Show yourself. Look behind you. Look behind you. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe he's fine? Oh gosh, maybe he's fine, guys. Maybe, maybe this won't make it out alive. Maybe we can, we can, maybe everything will be okay. Oh, right now, quit playing games. Oh gosh, you poor, poor soul that doesn't believe in FNAF yet. We're having understood it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he fell. Not, no, Not stay back. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Is it actually working? Stay back. Boom, boom, boom. He said, yeah, there'll be many more of that if you want to get any closer. You show him who's boss. Ran a police guy. Oh, oh, Chica's in there. Did you not see the big chicken? Was Chica in there? I thought I saw a yellow body. Oh, the flashlight. Oh, the flashlight. Wait, is that Freddy? Oh, I thought it was yellow. Is that a different Freddy? There's, or is that golden Freddy? Uh, he doesn't look very golden though. I did think he was yellow for a second. Maybe this guy's just run. <gasps> oh, that's probably where they put the body. Cause you know, they like to stuff bodies in to the animatronics. That's probably the dead body right there. That's probably the dead body. That's why the flashlight was on the floor. Okay. Ah! Gosh! <laughs> okay, I'm finally getting up to speed, guys. I'm finally getting up to speed. Oh, they got that all on camera? Dang! You got caught in 4K! What you gonna do? Look at him looking around. Police investigation. Man, that's crazy. Did they, did they ever find him? That's crazy that he really came out of nowhere, killed the police guy, looked around like he was like, nobody saw that, right? Okay, let me just uh, shimmy away. <laughs> like, what? Okay, so this next one's called Give Life. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. Is this like the puppet? Is this starring the puppet? Because I know the puppet gave life to all the other animatronics. Oh. Hello? Oh, now I'm playing as... This girl? Henry? Is that you? Henry? Like the creator of the animatronics? Or the partner of William? That Henry? Well, there's only one Henry. Or at least there's only one Henry in the series, if we're going for that Henry. Where are the, what, animatronics? I feel like that's the first question everyone asks. Like, where the heck are the animatronics? Why are they never where we should be, where they should be? Then again, that's the plot of all of FNAF. Why are they never where they should be? Oh my gosh. They just like to play a little tricky, tricky game sometimes. They're just trying to play hide and seek with you real quick. And once they seek you, you die. Oh gosh. They're in a funny mood, guys. They're in a funny mood. What is that? Oh my gosh. What is... Oh, is that the back room? Is that the back room where William is? Oh, wait. Is all of their bodies going to be there? Because he dismembered them all, right? Oh, it's a puppet! What? <laughs> I was not expecting the puppet. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. You just see the puppet carrying the head, putting them back together like they promised. Oh my gosh, the eyes. The eyes. Oh gosh, they're all alive. And you're dead. Oh, it's not finished yet. Fazbear Entertainment Documentary. Missing Children Incidents. Ooh. 
scary, scary stuff, guys. And this is CCTV, Cam 1B. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, cool. So they're all singing and dancing and everyone's having a great time. But then what goes wrong? Oh, CCTV Cam 1D, 5.26 p.m. What? <laughs> Not him being caught in 4K again? William, you gotta stop doing such a sloppy job. The suspect was captured on the security feed wearing one of our old spring lot suits luring a lone child away from the main dining hall and towards the safe rooms. That's crazy. He really went and put his suit on and told a child to come in the back. Is this not your business? Why are you trying to frame your business in this type of way? <laughs> Don't you want a successful business? 7.51 p.m. 1B. So later on that day. Oh, things are in full swing. Nice! Uh, the kids are loving it. They are loving the, the FNAF. Oh, um, excuse me? What are you guys doing? You having a fight? Well, it doesn't matter, because now it's 8 o'clock, Cam 7B. Are those still kids? Or are those adults? I think they're kids. Or no, there's a mom talking to her son. Is that what's happening? Or no, they're two kids. <laughs> oh, they're two kids. Oh my gosh, he's luring them. He's luring them away again. Okay, that was two kids. I wasn't sure yet. Okay, so now this is 8.05. At the same time. So we're gonna catch this guy in the act. Go ahead, peek your little head. Oh my gosh. Okay, close the hours, 9.20. So it looks like he actually kind of learned that there's cameras. What did that say? Clo it's me. Oh, it said it's me. <laughs> okay, so it's Golden Freddy talking to us this is closing time what's up you guys good or is that when he's gonna come out with the bodies of the kids and stuff it inside the animatronics no wonder they want to stuff people in the animatronics as well because that's what happened to them look at this guy forever caught in 4k they even zoomed in on this guy and circled what he was doing suspect left the safe room later that night once the building was closed all on 4K. He, what? He didn't even erase it. It wasn't long before the children were reported missing. Dang. That's crazy. He is sloppy. He is sloppy, guys. But at least he seemed to manage to, like, turn off the footage when it came to him stuffing them into the, bo uh, the, into the animatronics. Anyways, this is soon after customers began to complain about foul odors coming from the much-loved animal mascots getting the company into some trouble with the health department they're about to be in even more trouble than that that's the least of their troubles not gonna lie guys well let's see what happens after that it was only a few days later that police were contracted or contacted when parents reportedly noticed what appeared to be blood stains and mucus around the eyes and mouth of the mascot Ugh. mucus so does that mean they were like crying Oh, that is so sad and morbid. Yeah, they shut that thing down. They shut that thing down. They said one one kid, maybe. But, like, three? Three is out of control. And he really stuffed them in the animatronics. The missing child... I'm telling... He's so sloppy, guys. <laughs> the missing children were unfortunately found deceased, stuffed into the animatronics body, presumably to hide them. Oh, man. But it's sad. This is really sad. These were the photos taken during the investigation. Do we see them? Or is, are they allowed? Oh, what is that? It looks like a little burnt body. The victim was identified as Jeremy Hawkins. He was only seven years old. That is so sad. Like that right there. Like I can sit here and joke because this is a game or whatever. But if this was actually real, this would be so sad. Gabriel Lloyd and was nine. That's the part that breaks my heart. Cause that, if that was actually real, oh man. Four years old, Susie? Oh. oh my gosh. Like, this is so terrible. The victim was identified as Fitz De Davis, 13 years old. The oldest one in the bunch, it seems. Oh my gosh. And that's Golden? Yeah, that's Golden Freddy, all right. Cassidy Newton, nine years old. Ah. Oh. Freak you, William Afton. Freak you! 
We believed it was best to have the bodies removed and disposed of by our team in order to not impact business too heavily or make a scene, says Mr. W. Afton. What? The animatronic suits are to be washed, although this maintenance will have to wait until next week, which is when they are regularly scheduled in, says Mr. Henry Emily. That is terrible. That is so terrible. They really said that we, we got to clean them up because it might impact us. That is so terrible. Wait, what's the... Wait, I, re I feel like this was a site before in the FNAF series with all, uh, like, all five of them. But then I forgot who this was in the back. Oh, wait, I think this is, like, the puppet, right? Is this the puppet back here? Uh, uh Henry's da daughter? I don't know. I might, I might not... I might not... I might be lacking in the lore a little bit. So you guys... I'll just leave you guys to help me out with that. Oh, gosh. But, like, seriously, this was actually real life stuff. It's a lie. I would be devastated. It's all a lie. So I'm just happy this is just the game. Death isn't the end. This isn't... What? Help me, I can't move, I can't breathe. Why, why am I awake? Oh, gosh! It, we love to hear it. Oh gosh, seriously, it's literally so sad, guys. That's all I can really say about the actual lore of FNAF. But oh, that's that creeped me out. That, that got me. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the mystery of Charlotte Emily, aka the puppet. I think, I think that was the last grave on the hill, or yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, here we are. Freddy's Family Diner. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Yeah, back to the original. The very beginning, guys. Nice. It's a shame to see this place closed down. Especially considering this is where it all started. This is where it all, all started. Our hard work. Five years down the drain. Because Dang. William couldn't look after his own damn kids. Oh, is this Henry? This is Henry talking about him. Like, dang, you can't watch your own kids. Now we got shut down. I suppose he has me to thank for sorting up that piece of machine. Else we'd both be screwed right about now. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting how they tie this together with the lore. This is the original, guys. I've got some final forms to fill out. Then that's it. Red Bear's family diner will unfortunately become a thing of the past. And come in, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzerita, right? That, that that that's what comes next, right? Something like that. Nice. Good job, Henry. Power any second now. Oh, just gotta say goodbye to your creations. Been here to say goodbye to this old place. He probably is in there. He's probably in the spring lot right now, trying to act all pretend. Like I just want to feel the feel the suit a little bit longer. Okay, so is that where we're gonna turn it off? Yeah, we did. We already clicked the button. Three, Man. two, one. Sad. Ah, uh, well, that's it. Regardless of how successful Freddy's might have been, this place will always feel like home. Aw, it's kind of sad. Really sad. Oh gosh! Jesus, what was that? Wait, was that your daughter? That can't be. He didn't say anything about his own children not being watched. Oh, gosh! Oh. Oh. something he doesn't i'm just sitting here the thing i was thinking right now it's a sad story really like that's his daughter right a story of two grown men drowned in grief so his daughter came to visit him and comfort him i know where he hid it i know where the tape is oh you're speaking 
Sorry, I didn't know that. They're whispering. I didn't know. Oh, really? Let's see it. I'm kind of curious. I would love to know. Oh, yeah. This is this is back. This is this is that one fateful day that um Charlotte got caught outside. Unfortunately, at the wrong time. Dang. It goes Williams purple car strolling up. And she's like, hey, aren't you my dad's friend? Whoa, 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 are you drunk? Are, are you okay? Dang! Dang! Yeah, in a fit of drunken rage. Look at him, he's going ham! And he's like, whoa, uh, I'll show you, kid. What? And then he left. He really came to beat up a child and left. <laughs> I'm probably sugarcoating that, but like still. Dang. That's sad. After another incident at the diner, Fred Bears was forced to close down while the new pizzeria chain was allowed to continue under the grounds that the company hired security. Yeah, those security puppets is not gonna do it. You, you need more, you need more security. And you come to realize you need even more security. <laughs> Having William Afton around. Oh, the little puppet, oh gosh. Hi. I'm sorry if with what happened to you. Are you gonna jump scare me? Are you thinking about it, mauling it over? Oh, okay. Oh no, they're taking off the mask. Oh yeah, I, I think they're going to jump at me. Be prepared, guys. Be prepared, it's coming. It's coming. Oh gosh, there it is. Yep, there it is. And there was some messages, so let me look at it again real quick. It says, I know you're watching this, I knew you would remember and that you would return, but now that I'm still here, I don't hate you, but I will make sure you get what you deserve. I'm always watching William. But you know who does hate William is Cassidy. <laughs> okay. Man, this is so sad. I feel like I keep saying that on repeat. I'm like literally a cassette tape on repeat. This is so sad. Like when you really think about the, the FNAF lore and stuff, it gets so sad. Okay, so the next one's called Bonnie. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Bonnie, who's you guys' favorite animatronic? I feel like, I don't know, I don't, I like Bonnie, but I don't know if Bonnie would be my favorite. I do like how Bonnie's always the first to like, be the most aggressive and stuff. I kind of like Chica, cause she's just a cute chicken that likes to eat and kill. I don't know. Let me know what you guys' favorites are. I'm kind of indecisive. I also think I like Foxy, too. Freddy, I like him because of his arf, 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 arf. Oh, hi! Hi, Bonnie! Oh, my gosh! Oh, Freddy's about. Freddy's around. Oh, Chica. Oh. Oh, are we just gonna pretend like- Oh, gosh, Bonnie! Hi! waiting for me? You look like you're sitting there waiting to serenade me. She's gonna pull out a little guitar and start playing for me. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. That was not a serenade. Bonnie! <sighs> it's not over yet. Or it is over. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how much more my heart can take of this, guys. I really don't know. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me because I don't know if I can take any much more of that my heart oh my poor heart but let me know if you guys would like to see more of this or more FNAF in general on the channel and I'll see you guys and never let me know what you guys thought about it as well and I'll see you guys in my next video Nina out